Hey everybody, um, tomorrow is Cinco de Mayo. And so because tomorrow is Cinco de Mayo, we are going to make carnitas. Um, it's gonna be a little Mexican day. Um, so I'm, <clears throat> Susan loves it when I make guacamole and fresh pico de gallo. So I am making guacamole and fresh pico de gallo just for my wife. Um, so I'm using the Pampered Chef avocado tool uh, it's really a great one, one fits all. So it's got a serrated edge here for cutting the actual skin. Uh, if you have tougher skins or harder avocados, you may need to use a knife. I have a knife there just in case. Um, see this one's a little tougher. So, um, I will use the knife sometimes cause this one's not as, um, not as ripe. ripe as the other ones. And you can tell it took a little bit to get the pit out. Um, so it, otherwise it just literally cuts right through. So the thing I like about this tool, really like about this tool, it's one of my new, well, not new, it's not new, but it's one of my favorite Pampered Chef tools. Thing I like about it is straighted edge. It's got a rounded edge on this side. So it's perfect for digging out all of the <clears throat> um, things inside the avocado. Um, and all the flesh. And then it's also got this really cool three-pronged pit tool. So then, then he doesn't have to get the first aid kit for his wife. Right, because I know a lot of people that have cut their fingers on sharp knives. So that just goes right on there. You just take it, push it in, and it pulls your pit right out. When you wanna, oh. This is the one. That's that, the one that's not quite ripe. Yeah, that's the one that's harder. So when you want to get it out, you can just pull it out with your hand and it comes right out. Um, easy peasy lemon squeezy. So uh, the next, the other thing that I use that I love is the mixing. No, I just do a knife on that one. Yeah. The other even, thing, even with the knife, that was hard to turn. The other thing that I use that I absolutely love is the mix and match. So I'm going to show you real quick. You use the blunt edge. You go around the inside of the avocado. It doesn't cut the skin. You scoop it right out. Look how clean that is. That skin came. Now, if you want slices for your salad, you can slice it and then you can take the scoop loop and run the scoop loop through to get your avocado. Absolutely, your absolutely. So let's do that. So, right, you want slices for your avocado. It's not going through the skin. Let's use chunks, right? You want to chunk it. You run it around. All your chunks come right out. If you want slices, Literally take the blunt end, make your slices, go back underneath the avocado, and there, there are your slices. They come out nice and clean. There you go. So, and I have four, you can even make them thinner if you want, but I have four nice slices. So just so you get an idea of why I love this, um, I'm going to, <clears throat> I'm going to do the rest of those avocados, but I'm going to put a little bit of salsa in here. And this is the fresh pico that I just made. And then literally you can make your salsa as chunky. There's super chunky salsa or um, guacamole, or you can make it as creamy as you want. I use this tool for refried beans. I use this tool for avocados. Um, I use this tool for all kinds of things uh, and it works great. And so there you have it. Those are two of my favorite tools. Um, and that's perfect guacamole. And I, like I said, I made the pico earlier.